Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum. It's time to delve into those nostalgic era of the Olympics of 1986. No, there wasn't an Olympics in 1986, but Telelent is software less. Uh, this one is called Olympiad 86 years, published by Atlantis Software in 1986 years. Uh, it costs £1.99. But anyway, we've got six events we need to get through. Or is that five? Five events. Learn to count, Nick. Skeet, sh uh, skeet shooting, 200 meter sprint, weightlifting, disc and canoeing. Why have they picked them? I do not know. But anyway, it's a sports game with a quite iffy presentation at the moment. Hmm. Now you've got to remember, uh, games like Hypersports from 1985 are already about, and Daily Thomas Decathlon from 1984. Right, use the Q to stop the power meter in alignment with the arrow. Hmm, sounds interesting. Weightlifting. Hypersports had weightlifting in it, or super tested anyway. Right, here we go. There's a spinning clock thing on the left, and I pressed it at the wrong point, and it's a bad lift. Here comes a helicopter. It says rubbish. Well, I'm finding it hard to disagree at the moment, but let's just give it a bit of time. That that was very, very brief, wasn't it? That wasn't particularly good. Uh, the 1988 Olympics were in Seoul. 1984 was at Los Angeles, but 86 was the Winter Olympics in Japan, and it sure isn't uh, there. Right, canoeing. Let's give this a bit of a go. If you had this game back in the day, let me know, but already I don't think it's very good. Right. Mm. Now, these gameplays aren't about expert play. Uh, right and left, it looks here. Uh, round the boys. It's about seeing how you got on your first and second go. Uh, would there have been enough there if you want to play it again? Um, right. Now, canoeing was an event in Daily Thompson's Super Test, which was pretty good. Uh, here, it looks like they've tried to get away from waggling the joystick. That's not happening. So it's, uh, you're not going to break joysticks playing this thing. But it looks exceptionally dull. Uh, just left and right. And that's it. Go round the boys. There's my distantometer down the bottom. You start off with three lives. If you don't qualify for any of the events, then you lose a life. If you lose all of your lives, then you're dead. Mm, and that might come as a relief. So weightlifting, canoeing, 200 meter sprint, shooting and discus. Why? I do not know. And I failed to qualify, so that's another life lost. I don't have any uh, pokes here for infinite lives, so um, it's just as far as I get. We might see all the events, we might not. Uh, yes, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's all about seeing the good games and the bad games. Uh, make your <laughs> I'll make your, make your decision what you think this one is. Right, so my speed on is down the top. Every time I, I've got to press a Q, every time that lines up at the top there to build up any speed, and I think I'm doing it, but uh, it's not building up any speed at all. The graphic is terrible. Why is he bright yellow? He's got a face like it's been carved out of wood. Head is too short for the body. For some reason, he's wearing looks like the some sort of football strip. Uh, the crowd aren't very happy. Uh, the track is black, blacker than space. Um, oh, this is dull, isn't it? Why can't I build at any speed? Right, let's just try. Q, 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 Q. There's no Q to get this game, that's for sure. Um, I can't. Make, oh God! Put your tips below, but I doubt any many kids would have persisted with this one. Imagine this. Imagine. If you've just been around a friend's house and played the amazing hypersports with all the graphics and frills there and the fantastic presentation, and it was a fun game, uh, then then your friend came round to your house and you played Olympiad '86. Uh, you got past the point that there weren't any Olympics in 1986, and then you was playing this, and instead of waggling the joystick like Ninkum poops, you're just pressing Q to try and align with the high bit there. They've gone in their own direction, but the direction has not worked. It's a cul-de-sac of doom. What a pig's wheel of a game! No, I always like hearing what you think of the games because you don't have to agree 100% with what the person is saying in any YouTube video. These are the first time that I've played the game to see how I would have got on, but I wouldn't have played it a great deal of time after the first go. In fact, I might have already turned it off. This is the 200 meters, by the way. Uh, have you ever seen a 200 meters that takes this long? Like I'm doing the, the, uh, the four minute mile or something. Keep going, man. Yeah. Play Daily Thompson Decathlon, play Daily Thompson Super Test, play Hyper Sports, uh, do not play this. Other ones are Brian Jack Superstars, you can play that. Uh, Jeff Capes, that Jeff Capes game, play that. And any other waggler, uh, even Ninja Master, but don't play this thing. That was Yeah Kung Fu, I don't even know why I chucked that in. That's how desperate I am to try and fill the time uh, in this 200 metres. It's hardly Usain Bolt, is it? Uh, the game also came out on the Amstrad CPC, so if you own that system, uh, you might want to try it out on that to see if it's just as bad, or maybe a little bit better. Maybe you can get the time in here, but 
you know, occasionally, no, I'm not getting it at all. I'm sure I'm pressing Q each time it goes to the top. Maybe there's something I'm not quite getting at all. Come on, man. This is the quickest 200 meters you've ever seen. It's like we're in Star Trek and we've gone to Whoop 12 or something. And uh, Scotty's saying, um, the, the engines can he take it anymore. We'll turn them off then, we're in space. It's gonna go the same speed anyway. Here we go, 200 meters in 95 seconds. A minute, what's that, a minute and a half. Over a minute and a half for the uh, the 200 meters. Mm, we have to get 23 seconds to qualify, and helicopters are going across. It's almost as if they knew. Why would you hire a helicopter to tow the world rubbish behind? But that's all my lives lost, so I didn't, even, I didn't even get to the shooting that time, so I qualified nowhere. Yeah, we're on the road to nowhere, dee 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 dee. Medal, no medal for that. Score zero, well we've learnt a lot there. Not expert gameplay, dodgy gameplay, nincompoop chad, stress busting all the way. Are we stress busting here? Hmm. I suppose by calling it Olympiad 86 they didn't have to pay any uh, licence to the Olympics, did they? Maybe. I'll have another go, but it's against my uh, better judgement. Thank you to the subscribers who are watching, right, got quick Q when it goes to the top there, and I, you know, bad lift. Bad lift, bad game. What's the helicopter going to say this time? Yeah, big thanks to the subscribers and members keeping this thing on the road. This is a game to forget. I hope you didn't spend any of your pocket money on it. It was only one ninety nine, but uh, it's worse than Jack and the Beanstalk, which I also paid one ninety nine for. I'd rather play Jack and the Beanstalk than this guff. What a terrible, terrible game. I don't know what it scored back in the day. Hopefully not great scores, but what do I know? Right, canoeing. Let's just at least qualify for one of the gate, one of the events. This looks like my best chance of doing it. Um, you know, you're not going to break any joysticks, as I say, playing this. Uh, maybe you might break your own computer over your own head. But um, it, it's what's made is not a very fun game. Um, not very good presentation. It's extremely bad. Uh, very odd collection of events thrown together. And no real reason. No Olympics in 1986. It, it's it's bad all round. It's like it's like a demo that never should have existed. But let's just try and qualify one event so I can get to at least the shooting. Um, yes. Bad, bad, bad. Look at the reviews of Hypersports and Decathlon if you're new to Zelic Spectrum Gaming. If you want to see... I've qualified. Well done. Congratulations. No no cheering from the crowd. Nothing like that. It's just on to the next game as boring as you can. If you want to see other Zelic Spectrum games we've reviewed, they're all there in a playlist. Click on my username. Takes you to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab. And they'll all be there along with a load of other systems. Uh, don't let this come out on the Commodore Amiga. But as I say, it did come out on the Amstrad CPC. Don't think it came out on the Commodore 64. Um, how many copies would this have sold? Hardly any, I would have thought. But uh, it, it seems like someone's project that's got out of hand. Right, Q, Q, Q. So this is where I'm losing all my time here. And this fantastically exciting 200 metres on the black track with no markings. Why didn't they make that green? Make the track green. I mean, Daley Thompson's uh, Decathlon, which I keep going on about, on the Spectrum at least, you had a nice red track to run across. Uh, you, had, uh, you could make out people in the crowd. They weren't so far away. This looks like a load of, I don't know, peanuts or something like that. And they would cheer as well each time. You had a speedometer down the bottom rather than this stupid thing that just does not work. If you can get it to work, well done. I think with perfect timing, you can get one bar, then two bars, and three bars until you're doing a full super speed. Um, I'm, I'm sure I am hitting it at the right time. I'm, I'm trying different timings here, but it's, it's not picking up any speed whatsoever. This is destroying any excitement I have for the game, which was barely minimal to the st at the start. As you can guess, I'm not liking this a great deal. Um, yeah, Hyper Bill was in Hyper Sports. Daily Thompson's in Daily Thompson's uh, the Daily Thompson's games. Who is this bloke? Uh, Nincompoop Mavis. That's what I probably called, or some some Wally. Or he hasn't even got a name in this. I haven't even given him a name. No background story in the instructions. No uh, no epic journey. It's just bish bash bosh. Here it is. Here's the game. Whether you like it or not, kids, we've got our 199, and we're running off into the distance. I mean, I like the software that had some good games. And today, if you're watching these as they go up, we review Periscope Up, which was quite interesting. I'd rather play uh, that than this one, although it wasn't the most advanced game in the world. This is just frustrating. Compared to the competition out there, it's light years behind. Um, no playability in this at all. No excitement, and the graphics are poor, and the sound is poor. This is a stinker. I think we have to say this is a stinker. What was my time in the 200 meters last time? It was like 95 seconds, wasn't it? Over a minute and a half. Um, yeah. I mean, has anyone ever run in the Olympics 200 meters at one minute? At one minute 35 seconds. That's what it was before, wasn't it? 95 seconds. 95 seconds of Doomsville. 
If you're still here, then well done you. Support the channel and Jenkin. Uh, click. Oh, I've got a bit of speed up then. Well, I say a bit of speed, faster than a than a, a tortoise. Uh, click on the notification bell if you want to see when new games go up, or you can follow me on Jenkins Seven Nick, and uh, I put links to the videos as they go up. Yes, here we go again. Here we go again on our own. The eighties, eh? Imagine this had come out today on a PlayStation. There'd be uproar. There'd be rioting. They'd probably burn the factory down. They couldn't get away with it. Even even if it'd been given away free on a cover tape, uh, people would have copied over it. There's F for finish. 95 seconds again. Come on, helicopter. Tell us what you really think. Rubbish. It is rubbish. I agree with you. They've even gone to the, the bother of making a thing to tow behind an airplane. It says, well, helicopter says rubbish. Right. This time we got onto the shooting, so I'll get you a new event there. If I qualify for that, which I might do, I might not, we go to the discus. I mean, they could have done 10 events here on two sides of the tape, but uh, no. I'm not sure how long this would have taken to make, probably more, not more than an afternoon. It doesn't look like a lot of thought has gone into the thing. Right, shooting. Here's my crosshairs. I need to get over something and shoot. Right, there's something. It's like they're firing an umbrella or a pencil. Right, no. Oh, right, so it's going to be left and right, left and right. Two trees. See, there's no, there's no angle there to tell me what's going on, unless those red bars down there are something, are they? Did I shoot that or not? I don't think so. Yeah, this this is badly executed as well. Compare this to the skeet shooting in Hypersports, if, if you're aware of that, or see the video there. Uh, that, that adds like a crosshairs go backward and forward uh, there. Uh, this, you've got no indication where the thing's going to go. Looks like you need to get four to qualify by the looks of things. So far, I've got none. This is this is absolutely hopeless. Um, very bland. A uh, bit of green, bit of cyan, two rather dodgy trees that look like they don't want to be there. Uh, looks like they was out of work trees. This is the only work they could get. Um, right, rubbish again. Well, if we can agree on that. Every time that helicopter goes across, look, look at that. It's towing that, and there's a big exclamation mark following the thing as well. So that isn't even connected to the actual towing sign. What a terrible, terrible pig squirrel of an awful, awful game. Yes. I won't be playing this one again in a hurry, and I recommend you don't either, unless you're glutton for punishment or are desperate to see what the discus is like. But uh, absolutely rubbish. Medal Neil, uh, Olympiad, all different colours there, but that doesn't rescue it at all. Terrible game. So, hope you like having a look at that. I hated playing the thing. Very unplayable and uninspiring. That's Olympiad 86 on the set expression 48k. £1.99, but £1.99 wasted. Published by Atlantis Software in 1986. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means put that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. They've gone in their own direction, but the direction has not worked. It's a cul-de-sac of doom. What a pig's wheel of a game!